On this week's World of Saltwater Fishing, we'll be off Hawks K in the fabulous Florida Keys, and I'll be chasing dolphin with South Florida radio personality, Paul Castronovo. It's gonna be an excellent trip. Make sure you're on board. <laughs> George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing, where big fish don't stand a chance. Paul Castronovo is a radio icon in South Florida. He's been the voice behind Big 105.9 Classic Rock Station for more years than I can even remember. He's an institution down here. I host the Paul Castronovo Show, but for 28 years before that, it was the Paul and Young Ron Show. And before that, it was me. But I've been a South Florida broadcaster for 100 years doing comedy radio on rock and roll stations. I'm a classic rock fan from way back, and uh, I don't think I'm going to stop. What's neat about Paul is that he has a passion for fishing. I'm a classic rock guy, too, so I can appreciate his format. But I appreciate more his passion for going out and catching offshore fish out of South Florida. And this is what led us into this trip to come down to the Hawks Cay Resort on Duck Key to go chase dolphin. So we finally got together, we had a plan, and the plan, when he said we're going to Hawks Cay Resort, that's great because they got whacked uh, by Hurricane Irma, and it just so happens they were opening up, uh, and we wanted to be the first guys to fish the place. I've been fishing Hawks Cay Resort and, and around Duck Key for 25, 30 years, so I know the area, and I know George knows the area, so we finally put it together, and uh, we were going offshore, and I couldn't wait. Running offshore for dolphin, it's a team effort. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Paul's a good angler. He knows what to look for, and I had him looking out there for any kind of boards, floating debris, anything that really looked good once we crossed over to blue water. And we're going to go old school. And by old school, I meant going out without live baits. We'd have enough pitch baits in the form of fresh ballyhoo, squid, artificial lures, but more old school in the fact that I planned on doing a good amount of trolling. I think trolling has become a lost art for people who are chasing dolphin. And as far as trolling tackle, we had the brand new Pan International 30s, sixes in there. And these were the uh, two speed reels. We spooled them with 30 pound test, Suffolk Superior monofilament. We had a wind on leader of about 15 feet of 50 pound test. From there, we had a snap swivel. And the bitter end, or the working end, I should say, we had about a six to eight foot long, 100 pound test suffix Invisalign fluorocarbon leader leading down to the weedless value. That was our setup. We pulled into an area that it, it looked good, it looked fishy. There was there was bait and flying fish jumping all over the place. It had been slow, uh, and then we saw a frigate bird, but we had two lines out. We zigged, we zagged, we went up, we went down, and I, I've done that before with, where you don't have to put an entire spread out when, when you're looking for dolphin. If you put two out, when you get under that frigate bird, hold on. And then sure enough, we bam, bam, two of the rods had gone off. Chasing that frigate bird, huh, Paul? My God, they were making me crazy. I know, right? And you wonder, there's got to be some thunder, and you know it, and it's the way he's working it. He's got to. I spent so many years chasing frigate birds, but more often than not, we catch fish on them. Yeah. Well, there was one we had a double. Mine jumped off, so it's up to you, Paul. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Here, right now, if I catch. The difference between Burger King drive through for a fish filet sandwich or a fresh dolphin dinner. That's a Not lot of pressure. pressure on you. That's a lot of pressure. How's your gaffing these days? We're going to find out, aren't we? Thank God Harry's not on board. Really? I can't <laughs> afford to lose another gaff. <laughs> I need a gaff sponsor with Harry around. Sorry, Harry. I had to take a shot. <laughs> and I've, uh, I've got a bait ready. If we have a follower on yours. I'm sitting here with a uh, bally. I've got that. Uh, Oh, are we keeping one sugar? eye? Are we keeping one eye on that frigate? Oh yeah, one eye on you. Top one, Paul. Yes, he is. You hanging there, buddy? <laughs> I'm getting there. All right. He's coming up again. All right. Get gaff ready. All right. Then he's gonna run a little bit. <laughs> All right, hang on, I'll try to, you want to go that way, don't you? Damn. 
Right other side, you want to flame there? I'll go anywhere you want, you tell me. All right, go the other, watch those rod tips, go the other side. Other side. Keep going back a little bit more. We got him. Oh, woo! All right! Paul Castronovo, man, you can do it up big time, can't you? My first fish on the mark, six. Yes, it is, and oh. a beautiful bull dolphin at that. Yes, let's, let's see if he swims away. I don't think so. <laughs> the only swim he's going to do is going to be inside the fish box. <laughs> he deserves some money. This won't work you over. Look at the color. Absolutely beautiful. No, he did. He, he gave me a what for. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I'm fighting this fish like crazy. I should have had it in in 15 minutes. Uh, it took me a little bit longer. but uh, And I was sweating profusely because it was 9,000 degrees out. But what a day. George Pofarobo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. Mako, the perfect predator. Bass Pro Shops at Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. We'll be right back. I'm with South Florida radio icon Paul Castronovo, and we're chasing dolphin offshore of the Hawks Cay Resort in the fabulous Florida Keys. So now I was convinced that, well, Paul landed a beautiful bull dolphin. There's some dolphin in the area. Let's go to a five line spread. And then it was time. Okay, George said, why don't we put the entire spread out and let's see what we can do offshore uh, because the area just looked good and uh, there were birds flying around and uh, the area looked good and we were the only boat close by. So we really liked that. Uh, so we put the entire spread out and then we get lulled into a little sense of, okay, let's just relax here. But there wasn't much relaxing. Boom, boom, double header. And, and then it was, Pandemonium in the boat. Are you going to try to eat this one too? Oh, he's on? Okay, grab that one for me. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Hey, dolphin fishing. It's supposed to get crazy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he's a nice fish. Yeah. What well, do you think I give you a small one, Paul? Yes. Come on. You've always been good to me. <laughs> you got one still? Yes, I do. I'm going to move this up a little bit and I'll work to get a gap. We'll just have fun with these fish and. Once again, pandemonium. We don't want to get them tangled. Now I'm trying my best here to get this fish turned. Coming on the outboards. You gonna flip yours? Uh, no. No, he needs a gaff, this one. Here he is, right here. All right, nice one. You want to pop him? I might pop him, hang on to yours. He doesn't trust me. Here, go ahead, put yours in the right <laughs> order. Is this to show you I trust you? I've seen people let you down in the past. No, go for it. <laughs> I'll bring it right up to you. Hang on. Oh, he's ready to go. All right, George. You didn't let me down. Go get yours. I'll help you. I'll get yours here in a second. OK, Paul, I'm going to return the favor. I think this one's bigger. Of course, you wouldn't not... have it any other way. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop going so by the motor. Rod down and pull them that way. Here Don't move the bosses. There he there comes. It. You have a beautiful fish. Yeah, you do. Hold on. There he comes. Boom! Nice gaff. Yes! Two to one. <laughs> beautiful fish. Oh, be careful. Yeah, I was trying to. There we go. Clear. All right, Paul. Oh, nice job. Can I get that fish box behind me? Yeah, good idea. I'll hold him here because he's going to go nuts. After my professional gaffing prowess was displayed, I think George had a newfound respect for me. And I seemed to catch bigger fish than him. I don't know why. But once we got George's fish in the boat, it was my turn to catch the fish. I think it might have been a little bigger. Uh, I don't, we didn't have money on it, but boy, we should have. But now we got a nice fish box, and it's gravy time. As fishermen, we wanted to keep going. We figured, hey, if they're out here, let's fish. And boom, another dolphin hits. They messed up your whole spread. Uh, that's OK. <laughs> For this, we'll take it. And now you notice all the thick, scattered weeds are coming through. It's one of those weedless valley who are doing their job. They really are. Very impressed. All right, you were so good that one time on the gap, I might have pulled your duties again. I'm going to wait. OK. <laughs> He's way out yeah. there. I don't want to jinx it. Things turned on. I know, and it's hard to believe they don't have any companions with them. Well, you know, it's not the summertime dolphin. It's these these fall dolphin. I think they, they travel in smaller packs. You mean to tell me they don't have friends? One or two. <laughs> a less sociable group of dolphin? 
I can't tell if he's got any size to him or not. A few minutes ago, he had a little hit, but it was it was too small to eat the value. All right, he's coming in now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to back up here, Paul, once you get in here. I'll pop him. He may not, maybe only two pounds. Look at this fish right here. You know what we could do, Paul? I'm going to take this. Instead of Gavin, let's tag him. Okay. You want to tag him? I've got a tag kit. I think we got enough fish. Would you, would you hold this for me? I will hold it as now. I'm grab the tags real fast. It's officially my fish, by the way. And I'll just grab the leader. Okay, he's tagged. Okay. Okay, got your tag. Goodbye. Okay. All right, George. Good job, We're buddy. We're sportsmen. Nice. I feel know good what? about That's that. One last fish. We got to sit there and clean later today. That heat. Down the road somewhere, should somebody catch this fish? They record how fast it travels during the course of the day, the growth rate. It's a really remarkable program that we're learning a ton about dolphin migratory patterns, how fast they grow, how fast they roam. So this fish got tagged, we brought it in, did our measurements, sent it back in the ocean, and sent one away for science. George Pofarobo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Simred and the new MSS Evo 3 display. Go with Simrad and go with confidence. Wrap on a coastal, another great day. Suffix, always use the best line. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. We'll be right back. It's the morning of our second day of fishing out of the Hawks Cay Resort in the Florida Keys. I'm chasing dolphin with South Florida radio personality, Paul Castronovo. Our base operations was the Hawks Cay Resort on Duck Key. Totally brand new since Hurricane Irma and the place is looking nothing short of sensational. The property, it sits on 60 acres, just a tropical paradise. It has 177 rooms and 250 villas and suites. They have five pools. They have a natural saltwater lagoon you could swim in. They have six restaurants, tennis courts, meeting rooms for businesses and weddings. Everything is right here. Ice, fuel, a very complete marina. And if you do stay in the villas, I highly encourage you to dock your boat right behind that for the convenience factor in itself. You don't have to leave the property whatsoever. Everything is self-contained here to keep you busy, whether it's only for a couple of days of fishing or whether you want to come down here and spend a week's vacation, definitely check it out and you will not be disappointed. Beautiful place and I will certainly return to it. Day two, the forecast looked great. Uh, we had a couple of rain showers the day before, but everything looked fine. And uh, we decided, let's get an early start. Ran offshore. We found one of the most beautiful weed patches we'd ever seen in our life. It was the size of Pompano Beach, Florida. It was that big. I know Paul said it was the size of Pompano Beach. I'm not so sure it wasn't the size of Rhode Island. And Paul yells, a dolphin came under the boat. Hooked the belly, pitched it in, about three or four dolphins just charged at it, and they engulfed it. I hooked up. I'm on. Paul grabbed a squid, hooked it up instantly. He's on. All right, Paul, grab another spinner here. Yep, you got it. Where are they at? Over here. <laughs> under uh, under uh, the gunnel? Yeah, grab that one at 12. Okay. That, that white line one. Got her, Paul? Got him. Oh, man, they're all over. Paul, we need you in here. I'm coming. Hurry up. Oh, that's a nice fish. Just throw right out. Open oh. up, they're gonna eat you. Here he goes, he's on, he's, he's on, on it. it. Nice, come on up, come up, come up. <laughs> Woo! There you go. That's Paul. my kind of day. That was a nice fish. George, you better get that thing. Woo! Coming out of the water. <laughs> you asked me why I come to the Keys, this is why I come to the Keys. And rum. Castronovo spots the dolphin. Poveromo, we got a lot of O's. Two at a time. Nah, uh, they ran away. You they want to put it in the rod holder and gap him for you, buddy? Yeah, uh, you work on yours. Um, I can't. He's, he's in the middle of the weeds. He's not coming out. Well, you got to make him come out. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, buddy. I'm coming after you, Paul. Come on. I'm walking mine to the fish box. George, these newfangled skirts you're using are a little bushy. Well, let's see. Bring him in here for sure. Here, I'll get him here. I have real light tackle, so. Just pass the leader to me, no. 
Okay, here, here. You. you got him straight up and down. That's... There he is. Nice. All right, coming on. Then around Paul, we're coming in the rock. Open the bale. Nice size fish, too. Oh, he is nice. Here we go. I don't know about the weeds, but coming in, but we got the we got the the good portion. Let's not mess the boat up with weeds. We got the protein. Good guess. There's the veg vegetables. <laughs> so, and that's 12 pound test, so Excellent I had to job. take them easy. Take it easy. All right, next step, fish box behind you, my friend. You got it. This is what we live for in South Florida. I don't care if they're not 50 pound fish, or you get 10 pound dolphin everywhere, and they'll eat the bare hook sometimes. And we had the best time. Once we got those two on ice, uh, we said, okay, let's regroup, tie some hooks on, and, uh, and let's, let's get going again, because once they get into that frenzy, they'll eat anything. I decided to put a little piece of squid on. I think someone said, maybe it might have been I don't know. Somebody said, put a little piece of squid on, maybe they'll eat that. So I put it in the rod holder, and I free lined it as if we were fishing for yellowtail. And I let it go, and I let it go forever. And I'm just watching the line, and it's drifting. And then I look closer, and the line didn't stop. And I said, oh, I got one. Oh, ho, ho. Proud what did I do? I am proud of you. I let Rodney hook him. Oh, and Rodney did it, man. I just, I left it in free spool for about five minutes, George, and uh, that's, oh, that's a, actually that's a nice a fish. Bull. Yeah. Awesome bull. Oh, beautiful. Now let's just try to keep him now out of the weeds. 12-pound test, my friend. And he's putting on an aerial display, which I like. I love fishing light spinning gear. There's nothing like it. Especially when you get a fish like dolphin, like the size that you have. They put on a show, they're colorful, and the grill likes them. The grill does like them. <laughs> All right, just remember, he's still green, so yeah, um, yeah, and you got 12 pound line, he's gonna leave. Oh, nice fish. Just remember, Paul, it's like about 40 feet, 50 feet away in a green dolphin. You're that far away from yeah. a full floor and coat. Back at the dock. Back at the dock. We had to dock the boat first. Oh, there he goes. He's coming up. Oh, what a jump. There he goes. Oh. Here he is. Oh, I am. Nice and easy, Paul. Nice and easy. Just take it. I'm not ready for him yet. I'm not really good. Shot. Woo -hoo -hoo. Paul nice. Castronovo. That's a nice fish on 12 pound tackle. Thank you, Penn. Do, I get, to keep, do I get to keep the rod? Why don't we call it an early day? There's something in that cooler I have to find. I know. <laughs> well, we're we're going to make sure we're tied up the dock first, washing the boat. <laughs> so, what a fantastic close of the day. You have dolphin to eat. No sense beating up on the sweet line, Paul. Let's take one last look at this magnificent sight. And from there, we turned the boat around and headed back was the barn. George's Tackle Locker. Big fish don't stand a chance. Any boat with ventures offshore should have a ditch bag. A ditch bag is a water resistant floating bag containing vital safety electronics and items and which can be reached within seconds of an emergency. Aboard the Mark 6, for example, I have the ACR Global Fix V4 EPIRB Survival Kit. The highly visible rapid ditch bag contains my Global Fix EPIRB, which, when activated, sends my GPS coordinates to satellites, which in turn transmits them to local search and rescue forces. This GPS is a lifespan of approximately 48 hours. There's also an ACR Rescue Link personal locator beacon. This performs basically the same as the larger EPIRB with the exception that it must be held above the water and has a lifespan of approximately 24 hours. Also included is an ACR Firefly Pro water bug hot shot signal mirror with rescue whistle, and a hemi light. I also took the liberty to add flares to the bag. My ACR rapid ditch bag is always kept just inside my console door. Mercury Performance Stats, Hawks K Florida Keys offshore. Seas three to five feet. Power, triple 350 horsepower Mercury Verado outboards. Props, Mercury Inertia Eco, 21 inch pitch, 22 inch and 21 inch pitches. Assistant Cruise, 3,600 RPM. Speed, 38 miles per hour. Total miles traveled, 132. Total fuel burn, 120 gallons. George Pofferomo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Starbright, professional grade boat care products. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are.
Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum, Never a Spectator. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mallets. Visit kingsailfish.com. This trip was uh, definitely several months in the making. Uh, an opportunity to fish with Paul Castronovo. Uh, again, a, a radio giant in South Florida. He's an icon, he's a fishing person. Uh, and I'm glad that he put me on the spot on the radio station and uh, made me commit to taking him fishing. And not only fishing, but to do a TV show around it. So we definitely have this uh, to save and, and look back on. George is like a Kardashian at my house. He's more famous than anybody. I don't want him to know that, but my son and I watch it religiously. So uh, for me to fish on the Mark 6, my kid's off in college and he's texting me, Dad, how's the boat? How's the boat? Well, I'll tell you how the boat is. It's phenomenal. It really is. We has some beautiful weather, but there were some patches where the currents were, it was rough. And there were some big waves offshore. The boat handled it beautifully. Uh, all the electronics, I'm very envious. Beautiful vessel and I hope to fish on it again. Want to learn how to rig the weedless value featured in this episode? I'll show you step-by-step -step instructions on George Povaromo TV on YouTube.